right, here's chapter 12 in five minutes. So, we're going to start off with states of matter. There's four states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Um, we're just going to focus on solid, liquid, and gas. Um, a solid is going to be um, where the, all the molecules are kind of compressed in one area. They can't really move a lot. Now, a liquid, you have these molecules, and they're able to move, and they're going to mold themselves to whatever volume you put them in. Um, now, a gas... The molecules can move however they want. They'll move like crazy in order to fill up whatever volume you put them in. Um, if you put them in a tiny box, they'll fill up that tiny box. If you put them in a huge box, they'll move to fill up that huge box. Um, now these um, solid liquids and gases, they have different densities. Density is mass over volume. So how much matter they put into a certain amount of space. So solids generally are going to pack as much matter as they can into one spot, and they can't really move from there. Liquids, you don't need quite as much um, matter to fill up this space. Now gases, you could only have two gas molecules and it would fill up the entire room. So that one is the least dense. Water is the exception here because um, if we had ice and like drinking water and water vapor, the drinking water is actually going to be more dense than the ice. That's why it's the exception. That allows ice to float, right? But generally, liquids will be less dense than solids. All right. So um, these things have different properties. Um, they'll have melting points and boiling points. These are the temperatures at which they'll switch from solid to liquid, liquid to gas, gas to liquid, whatever, whatever direction. Um, so different temperatures those will switch at. Um, we'll go over that more um, in the next chapter. Uh, different conductivity, so whether or not they're able to send electricity through them. Um, and we'll go over that in later chapters too. And color. Um, color is a reflection of wavelengths. So if we have a yellow flower and a red flower, this um, red flower is going to absorb every single color except for red. And the red, which has a longer wavelength, as you remember from last chapter, that's going to be reflected out, and that's the color that we see. The yellow, on the other hand, absorbs every single color except for yellow, and that longer wavelength, or shorter wavelength, is reflected back, and that's what we see. 